Do we? Do we have some Fox doozies for you this week? But first, let us take a moment to recognize newly reminted Republican Governor Jim Justice, whose non reality based gushing over Donald Trump made him the runaway winner of last week's poll. Then click below to see this week's crop of candidates. And the nominees are Laura Ingraham outrageously mischaracterizing Russia's interference in the 2016 presidential election. Remember, just a few years ago, China stole sensitive background check files of 50 million federal employees which seems a bit worse than maybe nabbing some embarrassing DNC emails. Stephen Miller President Trump's the most gifted politician of our time, and HES the best orator to hold that office in generations. Pastor Robert Jeffress The Bible gives President Trump the moral authority to use whatever force necessary, including assassination or even war, to take out an evil doer like Kim Jong-un. And I think most Christians understand that. Mike Huckabee, via a tweet at POTUS has dispatched Maxine Waters to NOKO to talk to Lil' Kim. After 12 hour with her he will drink whatever he gave to his 12 brother. Rebecca Heinrichs, discussing Donald Trump thanking Vladimir Putin for slashing the U.S. embassy personnel You know, the way I see it is the president's response just took the wind out of the sails of Vladimir Putin. In the past, every time, you know, Putin would do something against the United States, there would be this sternly warded statement saying that we object to it or we didnt like it. But a didnt really have an effect other than to be gratifying to Moscow. But here we have the president saying, you know what, fine. It looked to me like he was being tongue-in-cheek, but he just wasnt giving that to Russia. We've got a lot of crises going along across the planet. He can't have hot spots everywhere in terms of the rhetoric he gives back. We're dealing with North Korea right now. If we can defuse the situation with Russia, if he can just sort of laugh this off and move on while these sanctions are still tough and in place, I think that that is a smart policy and I like that the president isnt sticking with these approved talking points like every other president has in the past, he is just responding the way that he thinks is best and I think that also speaks well of the president. Pete Hegseth, responding to criticism of Trump for not specifically condemning white supremacists I think the president nailed it. He condemned, in the strongest possible terms, hatred and bigotry on all sides as opposed to immediately picking a side out the gate. Cast your vote below the poll will remain open until 11.59 p.m. ET on August 20, 2017.